Hi everybody, welcome back to Sabir CAD. In this video, let's create a finger ring using AutoCAD software. So let's get started. Let's see the procedure to create this finger ring using solid modeling techniques in AutoCAD. You can start by creating objects using proportional dimensions. Later on, you can scale it to precise dimensions. Let's start with a rectangle. Then draw a polyline from a point somewhere over here. For that, hold down the shift key and press the right button of the mouse and choose nearest from the O snap menu and pick a point somewhere over here. Then right click and click on arc option. Then right click again and choose second point option and pick a point somewhere over here. Then pick a point here. Right click again and choose second point to change the direction of arc and pick the end point over here. Next, let's draw another polyline from this end point. Again, right click, go to arc option and right click a second point and choose a point somewhere over here and pick a point here. Then draw another polyline connecting these two endpoints. Click on the drop down in the modify panel and click on join tool and select all these polylines to convert this as a single polyline. Next, let's mirror this profile about the vertical axis. Click on mirror command in the modify panel and select the profile and choose this midpoint as the first point on the mirror line and choose this midpoint right on top as a second point on the mirror line and click on no to retain the original object. Next, repeat the mirror command and mirror this object about the horizontal axis and click on yes to delete the original object. Next, let's move this mirrored object in such a way that it coincides with this upper left corner of the rectangle. Now make some minor grip editing so that these profiles won't overlap with each other. Next, switch over to the southwest isometric view and align the UCS with the front face. So click on visualize tab and click on front from the coordinates panel. Next, draw a circle with this midpoint as the center of the circle and click on this endpoint to define the radius. Next, give offset command and choose an offset distance by picking two points on the screen and select the circle and pick a point inside the circle to define the side to offset. Now we have all the required profiles. Next, let's perform some extrusions. Give extrude command and select these two profiles and and move the mouse to define the height of extrusion and pick a point to fix the height. Next, extrude this rectangle straight down and pick a point to define that height. Next, give a union operation between these two extruded solid as well as the extruded rectangle. Also, extrude these two circles through a certain distance. Next, subtract the extruded inner circle from the outer circle. So give subtract command and select the extruded outer circle, then give an enter and select the extruded inner circle. Next, change the visual style to shade it with edges and move the extruded circle backwards in such a way that it overlaps with the existing extruded objects. Next, we will give the powerful boolean operation in solid modeling which is intersect command. So give intersect and select all the solids and give an enter. Now you have got a ring shape. Let's fillet the corners of this ring to make it smooth. Click on fillet and specify a radius and pick two points on the screen to define the radius and the distance between these two points will be taken as a radius and select the edge and give an enter and you can select the consecutive edges. 
give an enter now you can see that it has performed a fillet this is how our ring will appear once you complete filleting all the corners if you find any difficulty to fillet you can reduce the fillet radius let's change the visual style to realistic and take a look let's attach a gemstone on the top of this ring click on the face option of UCS command and click on the stop face and accept this orientation of UCS now take a top view and change the visual style to 2d wireframe click on polygon command and give 6 for the number of sides to draw a hexagon and pick the center point of the polygon somewhere over here and click on inscribed then you drag to specify the radius and pick a point now orbit your view click on extrude and extrude this hexagon and click on taper to give a taper angle of 45 degrees and pick a point on top to complete the hexagon I'll change the color of the extruded hexagon to white using the properties palette let's take a friend view and check the position of this object and give rotate command select this object and pick this midpoint as the pivot point of rotation rotate it in such a way that it aligns with that face now move this object until it merges with the ring now go back to the default view change the visual style to view the 3d ring you have created next let's scale this ring to match with the dimension of the original ring change the view to friend view and draw a polyline from this endpoint turn the ortho mode on give a distance of 15 units and draw one more polyline from this endpoint to this endpoint next give scale command and select the ring and choose this endpoint as the base point and click on reference option give the reference length as the distance between this endpoint and this endpoint when you are asked to give the new length pick this endpoint now the ring got automatically scaled now the inner dimension is 15 units using the dist command you can measure the distance between these two endpoints and you can see that it is 15 units hope this tutorial was informative and you have learned some interesting application of intersect command this concludes the tutorial please hit the like button of this video if you liked it and subscribe to sabir Kett youtube channel if you haven't subscribed already and hit the bell icon to get instant notifications on my future video uploads until we meet again with another interesting tutorial on cad bye bye and take care thank you so much for your time